Hello YouTube, this is Saber170 and today I'm going to show you guys how to make a custom video thumbnail for YouTube using Windows Movie Maker. The first thing you want to do is make sure that your account is verified and in good standing uh, so that they allow you to upload custom thumbnails. And to do that you want to go to youtube.com backslash features and it will show right there if you're allowed to use custom thumbnails it will give you a green light in your status. And if you do not have the green light and you need to verify, go to youtube.com backslash verify. And that will take you to this window here. Uh, you select your country and you can either uh, call with an automated voice message or just send a text verification code. And you put your number in there. They will send you a text. Once you get that verification code, you go ahead and enter that six digit verification code in the, in the menu here. Once you get that put in, all you have to do is hit submit. And then it should right away show that you're allowed to use custom thumbnails. It will have it will give you the green light for your status and you're ready to go. All you do is you open Windows Movie Maker and load your videos. Load the first video of the guy that runs past you in T-Spawn. And then you load the second video of the same guy that ran past you in T-Spawn on the very second round. Once you get all your editing done, you do everything you want to do, you get your movie set up, everything the way you like it, make sure your video is the way you want it before you save it. And that was two rounds, one after another, the guy ran right past me, hilarious. Anyways, so once you save your video, uh, save your movie, then you can go back and go to your home tab and hit caption and then from there you just put your caption whatever you want to type in uh, for your thumbnail we'll type in how to make a thumbnail movie maker and then I usually make it bold and pick whatever color you want and I like to use the outline size narrow and whatever color you want for your outline it just kind of makes it stand out and then um, set it up however you want um, whatever text you want whatever size you want um, like right here we'll do we'll line it to the left that way you know you got kind of an open space on your left you got your knife showing on your right line it up however you want you can just scroll when you scroll through your movie you just want to find a good spot that you like to add this in and we can go a little bit wider there we got space on the bottom sometimes it kind of depends on how much space you have what you want to show You're not being covered by your words so we'll go ahead and do how to make a thumbnail in Windows Movie Maker and we'll line that up so that you know some of the picture is displayed there to make a nice thumbnail and then all you have to do is go up and hit snapshot type in whatever you want to save your picture as and then hit save and then once you have your picture saved you can right click and edit that go to select and you just want to select the area that you want for your thumbnail and you drag that up a normal YouTube thumbnail is 1280 by 720 uh, if you want to resize that to get it exact I don't usually do that I just get it close to just kinda of have a general idea of the size it needs to be so that it shows up correct because it will kinda of trim it down once it goes in as long as it doesn't cut off any of your words you're fine all you have to do is save that once you get it uh, cropped exactly how you want it and then open that up that's what it looks like there's your thumbnail and Windows Movie Maker. It's very simple when you use a snapshot method. Um, there is another way to do it. The snapshot is actually a real small picture, so uh, it's kind of a little bit of a less quality. If you want to make, I think it makes a little bit better of a quality, what you can do is erase everything that you have put into your video after you've saved it, and just save the video with this uh, custom caption in your video. You just go up to file and save your movie just like you normally would in a uh, high resolution. 
This way is a little bit harder. It takes a little bit longer. But some of your pictures, you kind of want the better quality uh, photo. You know, being that the picture is so small, it doesn't really matter. But sometimes I do this. And then when you go in and watch your movie after you save it, uh, you can just right click and hit enhancements and bring up this menu to go frame by frame. And then you just scroll frame by frame to the point where you want to stop. Which right there is a good place to stop. You can exit out of that. And I like to maximize my window. You don't have to. And then if you hit Con, or, I'm sorry, not Control P, but if you hit in your F menu up top, hit your print screen, and then you can um, Control P or paste that into Paint, and then you can just drag that to crop it, and then you go to the lower right side. You can drag that up to where you want, wherever you want to crop your picture. It probably should go in just a little bit. It looks a little long. And then right there, that's another way to do it. It's a little bit of a bigger picture. I think it gives you a better quality picture in your thumbnail. Like I said, being that it's real small, doesn't make that big of a difference. But just save that, just like you did the other one. Cancel out of all this. You don't need this anymore. We'll drag these up, kind of get them organized here. And then open your picture. There's the one that you did in your video player. And then the smaller one is that you did as your snapshot. The snapshot is a very small picture. And it's easy as that. That's all you got to do to make your thumbnail in Windows Movie Maker to put right on YouTube. I hope I didn't go through this too quickly. If I did and you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments. I try to get back with everybody as soon as possible. Thank you for watching. Good luck on your videos. Good luck on your channels. And I will see you next time.